Even in these conditions, Duke Energy is working to restore the last of the outages. But across the city, there are still signs of the ice storm's impact. And it was just horrific. The, the noise itself was just startling within itself. It was just scary, just scary. It's a sound Brenda White won't soon forget. The crash of a tall tree uprooted in the middle of Saturday's ice storm. Looking out her dining room window at the branches and limbs covering the road, her daughter reminded her of how lucky she really was. You know, I talked to my daughter and I sent her the pictures as well. Um, she said, Mom, she says, just be grateful and thankful and blessed that it didn't fall the opposite way because had it fallen fall the opposite way, it would have come into the house. Monday night, the tree is still blocking part of St. Patrick Drive as city crews call for patience as they clean up a mess across town. It was slow going Saturday all day. Um, obviously, we knew people were without power and, and, you know, people want electricity. They want heat when it's cold outside, but we can't touch the trees that have power lines through them. So that's why there may have been a delay in certain locations. Chris Marriott with Greensboro's field operations team says they'll be picking up the debris for the next couple of weeks and preparing for more potential damage. With all the rain we're having, you know, since the ice storm, you know, since Saturday, we've been having rain pretty much constantly. The ground saturated. So the likelihood of more trees being uprooted and not just breaking off is, is high. With a possibility of more ice later this week, White is praying that the power stays on, worrying too about more fallen trees. That's a scary part because if this has happened, it's a strong possibility that more could fall. At its peak, more than 75,000 customers in Guilford County lost power. Duke Energy says it should all be restored by midnight.